Kinetic, Energy, and Mass, presented by Picrustable. Today, we're going to use the information from the NASA publication called Space Weather Math. We're actually going to be working at worksheet number 30. This publication is free for everyone, and you can download it here at the link. The individual worksheet is also available, so see the notes below, and you can copy and paste to get the address. Kinetic energy is the energy that a body has by virtue of its mass and speed. Mathematically, it is expressed as one half of the product of the mass of the object in kilograms times the square of the object's speed in meters per second. And here's our formula. Ke, which means kinetic energy, equals 0 0.5. And 0 0.5 is the same thing as one half times m. m is the mass of the object times v squared. And v is the speed. We could also think of it as the velocity. Between October 1996 and May 2006, the SOHO satellite detected and cataloged 11,031 coronal mass ejections, CMEs. There was enough data available to determine the properties for 2,131 events. The table below gives us values for three of these CMEs. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill in these blank spots using the formula we just learned. So let's figure out the blank one here. So in this one, we're looking for speed, or we're looking for kilometers per second. So I always like to start out with the formula and then start filling in. We know that the kinetic energy is 1.1 times 10 to the 20th, and I'm getting that right here. And I'm sorry about that. There we go, getting it right here, times 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is part of the formula times 2.2 times 10 to the 9th. Now m, remember, is your mass, so that's I'm getting right here, times v squared, and v squared is what we're looking for. That's this guy. My next step was to multiply 0 0.5 times 2.2 times 10 to the 9th, and this gives us 1.1 times 10 to the 9th. My next step is actually to get v squared by itself, so I need to divide by 1.1 times 10 to the 9th on both sides because this will cancel to leave me with v squared by itself. Now, I don't want to know what v squared is, right? Because my formula v is the object speed, not v squared. So to get rid of it, I need to take the square root of both sides. Now when I do that, I get this number 3.16 times 10 to the 5th. That's great. The only problem is that V in our formula is meters per second. If we look at our table here, the answers need to be in kilometers per second. So we need to do some conversion. So we need to remember that one meter per second is the same thing as one times 10 to the negative three kilometers per second. So all I did was multiply. So it turns out that we get 3.16 times 10 to the second or 316, mil, 316 should be kilometers per second. So let's fill that in. Okay, so let's solve the second one. So once again, I like to write out my formula, but the problem we have right away is that the speed that we're given is in kilometers per second, but our formula uses meters per second. So we need to convert. Now we know that 1,000 meters per second is the same thing as one kilometer per second. So all I did was multiply 388 times 1,000. And that's what I substituted in to my formula. And that's pretty much it. Now it's just a matter of multiplication and a little algebra. So the next step I did was actually take 0 0.5 times 388,000 squared. And then what we need to do is we need to divide because I want to get m by itself. Okay, so that will cancel. So it turns out the mass is 1.7 times 10 to the 11th kilograms. So we'll just put that right in there. And there we go. Now we're going to look at the last one. I really do stress writing out the the formula first, and I suggest you do it for all formulas that you're going to use. So once again, when I look at this we're given the speed, but the problem is, is that our formula is in meters per second and not kilometers per second. So we need to do some conversion. 
Remember we have 1000 meters per second is the same thing as one kilometer per second. And just like we did for the last one, we're simply gonna multiply and then we're gonna substitute. So, so here is my velocity and then here is my mass. And remember, I'm just taking it right from my table. So there's really no magic here. The next step I did was actually just multiply. So it turns out that our kinetic energy is 5.3 times 10 to the 19th joules. So that's going to go right up in here. All right. Awesome. Now it's your turn to try. So you're going to pause the video, find the answers, and play to check. Now don't forget, we need to change kilometers per second to meters per second for our formula. All right, so here are the answers. How would you do? I hope you did pretty good. Just to say that if you didn't get the correct answer, check your work. Because once again, maybe you forgot to change meters per second to kilometers per second or um, kilometers per second to meters per second. And actually when I did these, I made the same mistake. So I had to do it twice. So hopefully you got something out of this video. I want to thank you for watching. Be sure to download the free worksheet from NASA or even their workbook. That would be awesome. And the video, the worksheets, everything from Pie Crustable is in the Creative Commons. So please use them. They're there for you. And thanks for watching.